One of the hidden casualties in the war against COVID-19 is our children. Um, I am a father of two. I have two boys, Mason and Maddox. They're uh, nine and seven. And my big concern as I see all the measures being taken in COVID-19 is what does this represent to them today? And what does it represent to them tomorrow? In a normal world, most people don't realize this, but one out of five children suffer with a mental illness, uh, dyslexia, anxiety, depression, ADHD. Uh, my oldest son, Mason, suffers from anxiety and ADHD. And I can tell you in a normal school year with structure, uh, social interaction, it's still a struggle. He has problems focusing, he has to be redirected and so forth. And in a COVID-19 world where he can no longer interact with children, he has to do his tutoring uh, through Zoom over his iPad. It is a major, major struggle. His anxiety has heightened, um, his ADHD has worsened even with medication, and uh, his mom and I struggle to keep him focused in this new world. Uh, as a neurologist, I understand the effect of anxiety and stress on the brain. Um, I have attached to this post a multitude of studies that show the irreparable damage to a developing brain uh, that is exposed to chronic stress and anxiety. Uh, areas of the brain such as the amygdala, the hippocampus, the prefrontal cortex, and these are irreparable damage. This isn't going back to a normal world and these areas of the brain go back to normal. These are changes to a young child's brain that will never go back to normal. And you have to think about this at a very high level. We are telling our kids not to hug, not to kiss, to wear a mask. We're telling them that they can't see their friends or they have to be arm's length away from their friends. Their normal school years are taken away, their summer camps, all their fun activities are being taken away. And children should be immune to anxiety and stress. Children should be in a world where things are happy and things are normal and allow normal, healthy development of their brain. My concern as a parent, as a neurologist that understands the chemistry of our brain and how it is made up is our children are paying a irreparable price for war against a virus that poses zero threat to them. And no one is speaking on their behalf. They have no voice, they have no vote, they have to go forward with every mandate like the rest of us. And my concern is when they are our age, this next generation, this next generation that's gonna lead our country, what type of mental illness are we gonna look at with them? Are they gonna have double, quadruple, the anxiety, the depression? social anxiety, all these things because of what is being done today. And I'm not saying I have the answer, but my major concern is no one speaking up on their behalf. We have no task force looking at this, studying this, you know, seeing how kids are changed, talking to parents with kids with disabilities like my own child and seeing what are we doing to make sure that we're not worsening these disabilities and truly focusing on these children. Again, this is a disease process that represents no risk to them. It is the older patients, uh, older adults that have the risk, but yet these young children are gonna pay a price for this battle and they have no voice. So I urge you to look at the studies that I have included to this post. Uh, share with me what your children are dealing with. The school year is up and coming. Uh, I'm sure myself, like, like many other parents, have no idea what to expect uh, are we looking at a hybrid school year, a normal school year, or something in between? I don't know, uh, but it's very stressful for myself uh, and my family uh, to talk to my kids about wearing masks, um, everything going on in this world, and trying to make sense out of it when I can't make sense of it myself. Uh, so I hope uh, this uh, sparks some ideas, and I hope this uh, brings an honest discussion um, to start tackling a problem before it gets too late. Thank you.